Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today will be another DIY video. This video is a part of my monthly challenge that I host every month with a different co-host and a general theme for this challenge is inspired DIY but I have picked a specific theme for this month. It is a fall or Halloween and my lovely co-host for this month is Linda from Face Chick 777 DIY by Design. Everything about this lovely lady will be link in the description below she is a dear friend to me and I would like you guys to go check her channel out but for now let's uh, move on with the DIY I can't wait to show you what inspired me this month and what I have created for my lovely home and I would love to show it to you okay so this project will use some paper towels they just uh, plain ones and I got some jute from the Dollar Tree the clay, I decided against it because I had actually rubber snakes, so I used those. Some eyeballs from the Dollar Tree, diff, uh, little tray for the paint, and I had three different colors of brown paint that I used along with the black one. Of course, the Mod Podge, the Elms glue, and the main thing, I had that box um, that says live. I purchased it last year on the sale when they had all this out there Halloween sale so I bought that box and it's been in my possession since then so I'm sure you can find something similar they had a bunch of Christmas one on sale last year so you can use that or if you have a wooden one I think Walmart sells those uh, you can use that one as well so I used my marker to make some outlines on the book and then uh, in the further you'll see that I'll use my glue gun to make like a stitches on the book that it will be real uh, well look real and then I used my jute I cut it in the little pieces and placed it on the side of my book and everything will be covered in the little pieces of paper towel by using Mod Podge and then I let it dry completely before I started applying my paint to it. Now, while my book in, was covered in a paper towel and was drying, I got that um, eyeball from one of the Halloween pack and be careful, I used my X-Acto knife and it was really sharp, but I got it um, opened because I needed only half of it. So I placed it on my book and, uh, by using the hot glue and then I covered it with the Elms glue first and on top I added the Mod Posh as well and then I let it completely dry all over again. So while my book it was still drying I used my glue gun again and I went over the stitches and kind of made them visible a little bit more. So then I let it dry again so the hot glue would dry before I paint over them. So I outlined my stitches on the book with the black paint and then I went with my kind of dark brown over the book and I wasn't careful around the edges because I want the black to bleed in into the brown and then I went with my light brown a little bit over so it will give this old leather effect on the book when the paper towel is completely completely dry at the end. So 
So then when I was done with all the brown colors around the book, I used the kind of uh, light uh, yellowish color and I'll outline the place where I wanted to put my snake and that's where I went against the clay. I just decided to use my rubber snakes that I had. Um, I think I got them from the Dollar Tree last year. So I placed both snakes in the corners and one I stretched it all the way down, uh, all the way through the book. And that was it. Okay, my first inspirational piece came from a lady. She's a YouTuber and her name is, since, well, her channel name is Sincerely Molly. And this uh, video that she had is called DIY Hocus Pocus Spellbook. And she posted it in October of 2019. I have stumbled for it last year and I was uh, really looking forward to try and recreate this book. Okay, for this pillow, I will be using this uh, Dollar Tree uh, placement. I thought I love that little truck, so I'm gonna work with it. And um, I bought a couple of kitchen towels because you know this is an inspirational video, and my inspiration is Linda from Faith Chick Seven Seven Seven. Um, she she did she does uh quite a few pillows on her channels and the one that i really like was for fourth of july she did uh, the red one and the blue so i decided to make one for fall or thanksgiving whatever you want to call it um it's kind of like fall colors but anyway so this is a kitchen towel from a dollar tree and for decoration i'll use this natural jute cord from the Dollar Tree as well. And I have some of this um, burlap ribbons. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I'm thinking they might be get handy for a decoration. And to stuff my pillow, I will be using the pillows that I got from Walmart. They are the cheapest ones, so I just open them and will use the stuffing for this one. So that is all that we will need for this project.
Okay guys, my next inspirational piece came from the Pinterest. I have seen it being repent by several people. If you know who is the original uh, creator of this, please let me know so I can give it a credit. So, all you need for it is a Dollar Tree signed, uh, three ribbons, three plungers from the Dollar Tree that I took apart, some brush that I had leftovers from the prior project that my friend gave it to me, and I did some stencils using my Cricut, but as I always tell you, you don't need to use the Cricut, you can use any, uh, you can use the stencils or you can print on a regular printer and outline it and then just use that. So there's a lot of different ways to go around the Cricut part. So what I have done, I have sanded my sign with all the glitter that was on it. Then I used my Beverly white paint. I painted it over and when it dried, I used uh, the Beverly chalk paint in a color um, rust. Um, it's kind of like a rustic. I think it's a, it's a hazelnut uh, with a dry brush to give it an old vibe. And I did paint it my wood sticks, uh, three different color, well, two different colors, black and white. And that is all. And then you can see how I assemble all of this together. Okay guys, I got my <laughs> plungers, sticks from the plungers, are dried. So I kind of wanted to do it uh, two black and one white. And now I'm going to use uh, the brush that I showed you. I'm going to separate it and try to make three blooms. So what I'll be doing, I will be attaching it all the way around the plunger and use my jute to wrap around and then to decorate I'll use one of the ribbons. Okay, so the board is dry and I did attach a jute strain in the back and I used my stapler gun to do that. So, and it showed a little bit because I didn't calculate the staples so I kind of put the stickers on so you don't really uh, see the, it was a tiny little hole but I didn't want it to show up so I kind of did that. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue my brooms to this with my E6000 or I'm thinking to use the Gorilla Glue since this is wood and I'm gonna leave it um, like this so, so you can see it's gonna be all the way right here and the middle one so right there so and I'm gonna leave it overnight so it's gonna dry so I'm gonna use my Gorilla Glue and I think I'm gonna mix it with E6000 
Well, that was all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think some of my DIYs turned out really creepy and really cool and my family loves it and all my friends uh, can't work. We're really looking forward to this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you would like to see more video in this theme, there's a playlist going with lots of people who are participating in this challenge. Everything link in the description below. But for now, thank you so much for stop and buy I really appreciate your love and support and I will see you in my next DIY video real soon bye for now